What's up, you guys? It's Warren with Scale Audio, and today we're going to talk about what an envelope is. Not one you get in the mail, but related to audio. An envelope is basically something that automates settings for sounds, uh, usually used for automating the volume of a sound. And it's going to have things such as an attack, a release, a sustain, etc. So let's take a look. Right here, I have a sample sound, okay? And this sound is currently not being played through an envelope. It is just running straight through. So what's going to happen here is the second page in our sampler, we have something called envelope. This envelope's going to have a delay, an attack, a hold. It's going to have descent, sustain, and release, okay? If you'll notice, we have a slow attack coming up, and so the volume's gonna follow this pattern. If I play the sound again, you can tell it comes up. If I extend that, right? If it's quick. That's the idea behind the attack. We also have a delay. I'm gonna click the button now. See how that took so long ago? I'm going to click, move it closer, click the button, now. Right? We also have a hold, which if I make this extremely short, see as I make it longer, it holds for longer. Make it shorter, it holds shorter. Right? The next thing we have, I can put this all the way short, we can bring out our descent. It's much like the attack, but the opposite direction. Now, we also have a sustain. What the sustain is gonna do is this sustain is going to, well, make the note sustain, much like this hold, right? So if I bring this up, we're going to come to about this point of our release, and then it's going to hold. If I turn the sustain down, see it'll hold at a much quieter note. If I turn it up, it'll hold at a louder note. Now what's going to happen is we have the sustain going, we have something called a release. Okay. What a release is going to do is when we have that sustain going, and we let go of the note. See, it's gonna stop and hold here. And when we let go of the note, it'll complete this out. So if I put a long release, I'll tell you when I let go, you can see it right here actually. As soon as it went away from being orange, you can see I let go. Make it shorter, almost immediate. <clears throat> Something else we have here on this envelope is going to be tension. Whenever you see tension, it's generally going to create some kind of curve like that. This one is already preset where it's at, but I can even turn it the other way. So now our release, our release would play out and then drop. So if I make it a longer release, oh, too long. See that? Right? Uh, the other ones we have going to be our tension here on our descent and our tension on our attack. Okay. And that is the basic idea of an envelope. Okay. Uh, an envelope is going to control something according to what we set here. FL Studio itself actually lets you draw in manual envelopes and automations if you right click any knob and then Click Create Automation Clip. Anyways, all right, stretch. Bring the time up. Let's turn this one off. Okay, I made this longer. It's going to be a little buzzing noise, um, but it should get the job done for us to hear whatever we need to hear. So. I have set up this here for the pitch. 
This is going to be 50-50 right in the beginning, and so we can pitch this up and down however we want to. So now if I take this sound and I put it out here in a pattern, okay. <laughs> We got it going a little bit crazy there. We are automating that pitch right here. So if we watch it, and that's what an envelope controller is. I usually use these a lot when I'm doing mixes and I wanna bring in certain effects at certain points in the song, or if I wanna just do something creative. It is something that you create to control the volume or pitch or knob or the mix level of anything within your audio workstation. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like the video. I always appreciate a subscribe. This is Warren with Scale Audio and Adios. Mm -hmm.